Hi everybody and um, thanks for joining me Kevin at Smart Home Improvement People. So today what we're going to do is talk about heat pumps. Now heat pumps has been something that's been in the news um, for quite a long time because obviously the government are trying to go down the renewables way and one of the things that they're trying to do is get more and more people to get heat pumps and replace them from their old boilers. So. When it comes to heat pumps, what heat pumps are they? Well, you've got two main types of heat pumps for those of you that don't know. Okay, so you've got your air source heat pumps, okay, which is the most common type of heat pump that you can get, and it tends to be the cheaper option as well. Okay, where it basically draws heat from the outside out. Pretty, pretty obvious, you can't get much, much obvious than that. And then you've got, the sort of, what is, tends to be slightly more expensive um, but not as many people tend to get it which is the ground source heat pump um, which basically just extracts heat from the ground which um, remains at a relatively constant temperature all year round okay unless you're obviously looking at the top where at this time of year it's pretty damn frozen to be honest and sorry for swearing but it's it's bitterly cold where I live at the moment and it's extremely windy. Okay, so being realistic, what is the benefits of getting heat pumps? Because obviously, as it's something they want us to do, okay, what are the benefits? So when it comes to an energy efficiency point of view, heat pumps can significantly reduce your energy consumption and they can also reduce um, and lower your energy bill. So that's number one. Number two, it can reduce your carbon footprint because obviously you're not getting gas. So it means that you'll be reliant on re renewable energy sources and how um, heat pumps can also help reduce greenhouse gas emissions as well. Okay, and then number three, they're very versatile and they can help with heating and cooling your house all at the same time. So they're good for something to be able to use all year round. Okay, now the big sticking point, which when you do anything, it's the one question everybody asks, what are the drawbacks? What are the negatives of having heat pumps? Well, the classic one is the initial cost. Okay, so heat pumps can cost anything from about £8,000 on upwards. You know, that's the reality of it. Because you have to either have a complete overhaul of um, everything in the house at the end of the day. So that's number one. Okay, number two is the performance in extreme cold temperatures. So the efficiency of air source heat pumps um, can decrease in extreme cold. So some people may argue that the further north you go, especially in um, United Kingdom, it's re less relative to actually have a heat pump. You know, if you're further south like I am, you know, I'm right on the south coast. You can't go much further south from where I live. Okay. Um, it's more relative to have it. Okay, it's, it's like the old cliche for people saying, yeah, but if you have solar panels, what's the point of having them up in the Upper Hebrides? You know, if you're down on the south coast of England, then fair enough. Kind of the same thing. Okay, so the next one, it's not quite so much of an issue nowadays, is noise. Okay, they're not as loud as they used to be, but you can get a bit of noise. So, Next things you want, might want to consider are the factors to consider before installing a heat pump. One, you're going to need to take into account your climate. So your local climate will influence the type of heat pump that's best suited for your actual home. You know, then your home insulation. So good insulation is always essential to optimise and have it working at its best performance. You know, third of all, you're going to want to get it professionally installed. You know, none of this DIY job, jobby and thinking that you can do it yourself. 
you're always better off getting a professional to do it. Yes, I appreciate they're going to charge it and it's going to cost a bit of money. Which brings me on to the last thing. Because I've already mentioned cost of the actual unit. And I've mentioned you're going to need a professional installer. Which brings you down to cost. So there is an initial cost, okay, for it all, which is why it's a good job. There are currently government incentives for actually being able to do it. So you can get grants and everything. I think the grants are available um, where you can get up to about seven and a half thousand pounds, but you're still going to end up paying out some money um, on top of that. Because like I say, it's not cheap because obviously you have to change quite a few things in your household um, so what I will do is I will put a link in um, and I'll pin it to the top of the um, comments so you can actually go to the government website because it is on the government website and it'll give you more information about that and it does like um, you know the boiler schemes and all of that type of stuff as well so I'll put that in the comments for you um, so if it is something that you are considering, you know, it is something that you do have to think about um, really carefully um, before you go ahead and actually do it. You know, get all the relevant information um, for it to um, weigh out the pros and cons. Um, so for now, obviously, thanks for listening um, to me rambling on for quite a bit. OK, I hope this video does help you. Um, I would appreciate it if you could, um, you know, put in a comment what you actually thought um, and obviously um, like, share and obviously su subscribe to the channel as well. Um, I would appreciate that as well. But for now, thanks for listening and we'll speak to you again a bit.